before you all know that we got our half a pound of rice and three pounds of beef in here. I used one of each color chopped bell peppers and one onion. Now I'm just adding in some crushed tomatoes. Coming in with a little bit of fire roasted corn. And my lower sodium black beans. If you don't like beans, feel free to leave these out. Now I've got two cans of Rotel here. You could use one large can if you like. I opted to go for the Mexican lime and cilantro style and also the hatch chili style. Just gonna get this. This is looking beautiful. Look at all these gorgeous colors. We've got a mixture here of fresh ingredients and canned to make this affordable. Now I'm gonna use my Cajun two-step seasoning. I'm gonna do this to taste. I want this to have a little bit of uh, spice to it. You can, of course, use whichever kind of seasoning you like. Now I'm coming in with a little bit of that freshly ground black pepper. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of crushed red pepper here. Alrighty, we're just about done. I'm gonna add in this broth to make sure all that rice gets cooked and absorbed. And you know, throughout the cooking process, I may add in some more broth. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. So that's looking good right now, but I do feel like as that rice absorbs, it's uh, we're gonna lose a little bit of our broth. And that was four cups, okay. You know what y'all, I almost forgot, but I'm gonna add some fresh garlic into here. I'm a garlic lover. If I'm being honest with you, garlic is probably my favorite food. I think garlic is a gift from the, the world, from our creator. All right, y'all, I put three in this time. I put, oop, maybe we're not gonna put three in. I put two in this time and two in the last time, so I'm doing four cloves. A garlic in here and of course you know if you want to do garlic powder if you don't want to do fresh garlic you do you all right you know what i'm just going to come in with my meat masher i'm going to break up this meat in here a little bit just kind of give this a little bit of incorporation mix our beautiful ingredients around this smells incredible this is going to be so tasty so hearty we got that rice at the bottom we got our beef and then all of our beautiful ingredients here all right this is starting to look really good now because that rice is going to cook and absorb so much of our broth i'm going to come in i've got a second 32 ounce container of broth here all righty y'all i'm putting my lid on here i am putting this on low we are going to cook this for low and slow for about four hours Alrighty y'all, our total cook time was five hours. I had this on low for three hours and then I moved it on to high for the last two. And here's what we got. It's almost like a bell pepper rice, like a thickness of a chili, but you know, our intention was to kind of make this like the filling of a stuffed bell pepper. So I think we really achieved that. So now Marty and I were just discussing, would you serve this over Fritos or not? He told me he didn't think it needed it because it has the rice inside. So I'm just gonna scoop myself a big healthy bowl full here. I'm gonna add some Mexican cheese on top. You can use whatever kind you want. I think some pepper jack with like the little spiciness in there would be really good. I'm just gonna use my Mexican blend. Now, if I was letting this sit for a couple minutes, I'm sure this would all be melting in there. And it's gonna start melting, but I'm gonna take a bite before that happens. All right, I'm excited to give this a try. Hmm. Really good flavor, hearty, delicious, perfect for the fall for the cooler temperatures. Y'all, you gotta try it.